Welcome to Indonesia. Yay! You might not be able to see us very well. We are in Labuan Bajo. On Flores. We said last time when we saw you that we were going to see you from Bali, but we changed our plan. And we flew, stayed at like a day or two in Bali, just sorting stuff out. And then we flew to Flores, to here. And, and today, today, again, one of the most important things in Southeast Asia, we're going to see Komodo dragons. Yeah, so we're going to do the Komodo tour today. Mm -hmm. Going to see the endangered Komodo dragons, the massive, massive reptiles. You probably have heard about them. We're going to go see some amazing viewpoints of the island. We're going to see some really cool beaches and some awesome snorkeling as well. This town is really nice, mm -hmm. quiet, it's it very pretty. Well, it does, so mm -hmm. yeah, I really like this town. But anyway, we're going to skip now and take you to the boat. We are on the top deck of our boat, as you can see. Uh, only four people allowed up here, probably because it's not really a deck. It's just the roof. It's just the roof. If we pull out, no one will know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're starting our tour. It's uh, I don't know if you can see with the sun in the background. Let's go this way. Uh, sorry for any wind noise. But yeah, we're on our way to our first point, Hala Island, I think. Three hours. Three hours on yeah. the boat. We are on a slow boat. Yeah. We didn't take the cheap tour, it's a slow boat. So three hours. But already we can tell you very nice. Yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed they got water. Yeah. So we're going to get to the first island, we're going to do a hike for an amazing viewpoint. Then we've got an hour to Komodo Island, where hopefully we'll see Komodo dragons. Oh god, sorry. Hopefully we'll see Komodo dragons. And then we do another hike. Then we've got a cool pink beach we're going to go to. There's only like a few in the world pink beaches. So we're really looking forward to that. And the last stop is snorkeling with, fingers crossed, manta rays. It's called Manta Point. We'll see, yeah? Ah, so far we're liking it, but yeah, it's three hours, it's a long time, but yeah. Look at this, it's so cool. Hold me though. <laughs> <laughs> you can pull out easy. That's awesome. The view there is incredible. We're not going to show you three hours of boat ride, so we're going to chill on the boat. Or... <laughs> Careful, Kesha. So we made it to the first island. Got the three hours to by. Three hours. Yeah. Padar. Padar island. And we're going to a viewpoint up there. On our way up. How many steps you say? I don't know. 200 something? 280 or something like that. I don't know. Do you think? Yeah, not that many. Quite a nice breeze. It's a nice breeze. That's Komodo over there behind. <sighs> wow. This is a view worth of height. Yeah? Yeah. Magical yeah, view. Magical. It's just. No, it's just here. So you've got three coloured beaches. You've got the white beach, the black beach, and that's supposed to be a pink one over there. Slightly pink beach above. As you can see, it's quite touristy. Not the one we're going to, but that's supposed to be a slightly pink one. So we're spending five, ten minutes at the top here before we head down, down there. The view, here's the view. Look at that view. I think we can safely say this is one of the best views we've ever seen. We thought um, CoPP viewpoint was really good, which it is, but I think this one definitely tops the CoPP viewpoint. It's just amazing. And with Komodo in the background over there, 
It's quite cool, yeah? It's very cool. So you're always from now because it's another island. We're heading back to the boat. We might be having food now, we're not sure. We're both hungry. It's too early. I think I've taken a lot of that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. My, That's your theory. My theory. Okay, we're heading back to the boat and we're heading to it's Komodo next. Yeah! Komodo, we're going to see some I, dragons. I want to see at least one. I'm sure we'll see one. If we don't see one, that is the most disappointing tour ever. <laughs> Because yeah, apparently it's quite easy to see them when you're on the island. High hopes that we do see them. So let's head to Komodo. Yay. Hello. Hello. Didn't expect to see reindeer on this island. But there's a few. We made it to Komodo. Let's go. Uh, firstly, we wish you welcome to Komodo National Park, as yes, me on Komodo Island. So today we are here now, means in Lohliang. So Lohliang was taken from the local language, Lo means Bay, Liang means nest of Komodo dragon, where they lay eggs here. Yeah. And beside Komodo, here there are some other animals like deer, pig, and even snake. Yeah. I mean, they are all in the wild. So we are not guaranteed to see them, so it depends how lucky we are. And same with the Komodo as well. Yeah. So dragon here, they live anywhere, so there is no special place to find them. Okay, follow my friend here, yeah, please. How many dragons live uh, More than 1,000 here. Okay. What, what do they eat? Deer, pig, monkey. Deer? The monkey in the other island. Yeah, so buffalo as well. And sometimes tourists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if the they're last really time they uh, three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. Okay. On the hunt. <laughs> Only one here now, I mean one is already gone. I don't know where, like I told you. Sometimes we see lots, sometimes not. Do they move quite slow or they can they go quite fast? They can it can be fast. Yeah. Normally when they attack animals. Yeah. Oh. But you know, this is like too hot, so they don't move. Too hot for them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So they just come here to drink and waiting for the deer, pig, yeah, so waiting for food, I mean. So when they come to drink, the more dragon will easy to catch them. So they just doing camouflage like that. It look like a log, like a tree. So they run fast, like 20 km an hour, but for short distance. Yeah, and after that, they just uh, let the animals go. But means the animals still can die, wait for a couple of days because not a Komodo dragon kill but infection. Yeah, so a couple of days until weeks, yeah. So the animal will get infection, die and Komodo will go try finding. So they will know because Komodo dragon have to have a good uh, and, and strong smell. Uh, this is the nest. You see the small hill here? This is the nest where they uh, lay the eggs, yeah? The female dragon will put the egg in the ground, about 15 to 30 eggs. So like 30 eggs, 20% normally will hatch because we, we just sometimes put the cameras nearby and then the camera will record something come out from the nest, yeah. What's the biggest one that you've had? Uh, three and a half meters, but it's already uh, dead, yeah? Already dead. Yeah, and we just go, uh, we just have a three meters now. Mm. Yeah, but we even have a, like that size, but you know, here's a big island, maybe there, there is still, still some of them bigger on the island, mm -hmm. because this big island, 33,000 hectares. Do you know any idea how long the Komodo dragons have been here? I think in something like 40 million ago, because we believe Komodo dragon related from the dinosaurs, mm. same species of crocodiles. They live here, been on the earth long, long time ago. 
Oh, that's it. Where? Surely that's not a good idea. To walk towards the dragon, the deer. Because Komodo is too small to kill the deer. Oh. That's why if you go close to that Komodo dragon will run away. There's another one. Ah, uh, yeah. One. Two. Look. 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 What's happening down so Okay. 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 Back on the boat. One way one. Mill. What you got? Oh, you got sauce. Chicken. Veggies. Veggies. Rice. Do you want to enjoy? Spicy. She pours it all up. So let's enjoy our meal and then we're going to the pink beach. Yay! We're at the pink beach now, we're going to do some snorkeling. <coughs> I don't know where the pink beach is. <laughs> so we've made it. A little bit, yeah. Yay, it is pink. Maybe from a distance it looks more pink, I don't know. It's a little bit pink. You can see slightly pink. But anyway, we're going to go snorkeling, so I'm going to put the snorkeling stuff on and let's get in the water. Hey, on our way back to the boat. Snorkeling was really good, actually. It's actually surprisingly good. Uh, the pink beach, not that pink, but it had a little bit of pink, yeah. so we'll give it that. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're getting back on the boat, and we're heading to our last point, which is Manta... Manta something? Pass, Manta stop. I don't know. Anyway, you're supposed to be able to see manta rays there, but they said this time of year it's a little harder to spot them, but we're feeling lucky today because we saw, like, five Komodo dragons so we're feeling lucky so back on the boat So the tour has ended. We had a little boat around looking for manta rays at Manta Point, but they didn't spot any and they said they hadn't seen any for weeks. So that was a very brief search before we came back. And uh, we had really nice, lovely, lovely people on the boat. So we sat for three hours talking on the end of the trip. That's why we didn't record it. On the much. roof. Yeah, I just showed you a few clips on the way back. That's, That's about quite, it. That was quite cool. Uh, overall, I think 600 we paid. 
and it was well worth it. And for the speedboat, you pay what 1,300? The minimum, yeah. So almost oh, twice yeah. as much for a speedboat, but you'd have a lot more people on your tour. And, and you just it adds to more places to go and snorkel. I guess our snorkeling was very short, very brief. Yeah. But we didn't go on this tour to snorkel. We went there to see Komodo dragons. Exactly, and we saw them, and we yeah. saw that great viewpoint. So um, yes. fantastic tour. And we are heading more into Flores, so yes. you need to see what's gonna be like. Yeah, really excited for it. So, see you next time. See you next time. Bye.